Remember, I'm trying to emphasize to you, there's one thing that I get across to you. It is that these laws were not just invented by someone like the rules of a game. Um, once upon a time, this guy invented basketball. He was like, I, he literally had baskets and he put them on opposite ends. And um, he was like, okay, you just have to run to opposite ends and, and throw the ball in, into the basket. And you're like, cool. And then you realize, this is too easy. Once you've got the ball, you just you can just run and then you just throw it in. It's too simple. So he introduced dribbling. Because what that makes it easier to do is get the ball off someone else, so it's a much more interesting game. He just made up rules and he could have made them a different way. These laws are the exact opposite of that. These laws are like gravity, right? No one went out there and said, oh, we should invent gravity. Gravity is just the way the universe is. And this is just the way numbers are when you think about what you already know and you just apply logic. So that's what we're gonna do with this particular law. So I want you to think about this one with me. In particular, I want you to think about what happens if P and Q, P and Q, are actually the same number. If P and Q are the same number, if they're both equal, say, to P, okay, what does the law that we've just developed, what does that tell you the right-hand side should be? It'd be log base A, of p squared, isn't it? But look at the left hand side. You've got the same thing twice. Well, I don't have to write the same thing twice. I can just say you've got two of them. Do you agree with that? I've looked at the same object. I've simplified it with a log law, but I've also simplified it just by collecting like terms, right? Now think about what would happen if I added another log base A of P to both sides. If I added another log base A of P here, and I added another one here. Think about this again. Left hand side, can you collect some like terms for me? How many log base A of P's do I have? There are three of them. What about the right hand side? Don't collect like terms because they're not like. Use your log laws, right? When you're adding logs of the same base, what do you do with the numbers in the logs? You multiply them. So p times p squared is p cubed. So this gives us a law. I can keep on doing this forever, right? If you've got some number, and this is, a, uh, I'll put it in orange actually, because this you can now add to your list of laws if you want to pick up your pen now. This is a new law that we've just developed, we've just derived actually. If you've got any number of these logs, if you multiply by a bunch of logs, that's the same or equivalent to raising that number to whatever power you've just multiplied by, okay? So remember how we said, oh look, adding logs turns into multiplication. Multiplying logs turns into a power. It keeps climbing up, okay? Now, a lot of you asked me about question M, M. Can someone read question M to me, please? Log base, base, log base two of 18? Two? Base two? Okay, great. So I'm going to use this new one that I've just developed on this, okay? Uh, I don't have to, there are other ways to do this, but it's kind of neat to be able to use it in this way. Log base 2 of 18, I'm just going to leave that guy there. But when you have a look at that right hand one, see how it's got a number at the front? That's like this. In fact, it's just like this, right? So instead of writing the 2 out the front, I'm going to write it as a power. 3 to the power of 2. Does that make sense? You see how I've used this? This coefficient, the multiple at the front, turns into a power. Or I could do vice versa if I wanted to. This is log base 2 of 18 minus log base 2 of... 3 squared is 9. So you can see here, wait, now I can use this. Two logs, same base. So what do you do to the numbers in between if you're subtracting? You divide. Right? So this is 18 on 9, which is just 2. Log base 2 of 2, because log base anything of anything, the same thing, will always be 1. Does that make sense?